Hi guys, it's David here from One Step at a Time and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Linux Mint 17.1 Cinnamon on an external hard drive. Um, I did do a video on how to install it from a bootable USB but this is uh, slightly different. So um, if you are going to install it on an external hard drive what I suggest is having a blank external hard drive don't have any partitions on it, mounted on it because it seems to run into uh, different issues where it wants to unmount or delete and I'll be going through that you'll see that in the video anyway but um, like I said leave it unallocated if you can it'll make it very easy to install so for some reason my screen recorder decided to, to um, black out the Linux Mint why I'm not so sure but um, if you have your external hard drive plugged in you'll find this or whatever your hard drive is and the install Linux Mint will come up here or click on the install sorry should I say might be kind of slow because of the USB so the first option is to pick your language then it'll ask if you want it to make sure it's all plugged in and the amount of space you need just going to say continue uh, this is the important bit here. If you happen to have um, a partition mounted on your external hard drive and you have something on it, you might be better off backing it up to your computer or somewhere else before you start this. Um, if not, it's given me the option to unmount it and if I say yes, it's going to delete everything on my hard drive. So I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to say no. And then you have these options to install Linux Mint alongside Windows 7 or erase the disk. We don't do anything, so we're going to say something else. And we're going to say continue. And in here you'll get a list of your partition. As you can see, all of your internal hard drives are there. So, on your partitions. So, what I want to do is, this is my, this is the one I created for my backups and that and this is the unallocated free space there's a hundred gig right there so I have plenty of room on it so just make sure that you come down click on free space click on the plus sign and then for the first partition we're going to have to make sure it's primary because we're going to be putting the boot in there and it won't boot up from a logical it'll only boot from a primary so delete that just uh, you only need 300 megabytes for it click on the downward arrow and press on boot and then click OK and then as you can see it keeps jumping back to this to your internal hard drive so keep making sure that you come down here to your free space click on it click the plus sign and then in this we're just going to leave it as a logical but we're going to cut this is our root I'm going to allow 10 gigabytes so 10,000 in there and leave it as logical and then click on the forward slash for your root and click OK and then once again scroll down click on your free space click on the plus sign and I'm going to leave this as a logical as well but it's going to be a swap area I'll change this to 4000 first. Now, a swap area is the equivalent of your RAM on your computer. So, if you want to, you can allow more for this. But uh, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to leave it as 4 gigs, plenty. And put 4000, leave it as logical. And click on this, use as. And we're going to click on a swap area. And then we're just going to say OK as well. And we're going to scroll down. We've one more left to do. I'm going to click on free space. Click on the plus sign. I'm just going to stick this in as primary. I'm going to leave the remainder for the home folder. And I'm just going to say end of space, even though it's going to be at the end of it anyway. And click in here and choose home. And say OK. 
now as you can see because I had a, a folder in here already I'll just show you this now I had this already on it if you started like I mentioned at the beginning of the video as an unallocated hard drive you could if you wanted to keep all of four of these partitions as primary if you like it's just that you're only allowed to have four primary partitions on any hard drive but you can have lots of logical um, partitions on it so that's why some of them are logical but the boot is probably the most important that it has to be on a primary partition or it won't boot up for you so and the next bit now this is another important piece as you can see this is my boot sdb2 so what i want to make sure is that this here as you can see i want to make sure i don't install it anywhere only onto my boot so i'm going to scroll down here until i get my sdb2 and choose that make sure you change that and so it doesn't install it on your internal hard drive and once everything's good to go um just click the install now now i'll probably get a warning about it wanting to unmount so i'm just going to say okay to this so continue Yeah, so I'm getting this failed to unmount partitions. It wants to unmount the partition that I have there already, but I don't want to do that because it will delete everything off my external hard drive, but I want to keep all of my backups. But what should happen is the screen here, the where are you screen, and there's a few, it's like two more steps, and you just follow those, they're real easy. But I came across this issue over and over, I did move everything from my external hard drive onto my computer and then I installed Linux Mint and it installed without any problems, any hassles. But as soon as you mount a partition on it, I seem to get this problem. So yeah, if you know a way around it, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know. But for some reason, no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to, to work for me. So, But if you had an unallocated it, completely blank hard drive then you would this won't even show up for you you'll just get to choose country and uh, just follow the last little few steps and it'll work perfect because i've done it and there was no problems so that's it guys if you like the video um, hit the like button subscribe if you like and i will see you in the next video cheers goodbye